Good afternoon, uh, YouTube. This is Rick, Black Rifle, coming at you from North Augusta, South Carolina, with a new product from Leatherwood Hilux. They get crossbow auto ranging trajectory crossbow scope. This is an art scope for a crossbow. It's a PSE Toxic. My bow here. PSE Toxic. It's a heavy bow. Um, <clears throat> let me give you the specs on my bow. <clears throat> Uh, the Toxic uh, sends a 425 grain arrow downrange at about 325 feet per second. Uh, it weighs 9.5 pounds. It's a little heavy for toting around in the woods. Uh, now I had a uh, PSE uh, Fang uh, crossbow and uh, my eldest son uh, fancied it so he's he's got that but uh this is my crossbow i've uh taken feral hogs with this i've killed several feral hogs with it and uh several deer with it the arrow goes right through them at about 40 yards is probably the maximum range of this this bow about 40 yards so uh we're going to set it up and zero it here about 15 yards, 15 or 20 yards. I'm going to put Rambo out there. Rambo is my deer target. It's a buck deer. From 100 yards away, Rambo looks like a real deer. So you can't leave him out in the field or somebody will shoot at him. <laughs> anyway, uh... We're going to do some uh, targeting and testing uh, with the uh, art scope. This is a 1 to 4 power scope with a 24 millimeter uh, tube. So it's uh, 1 to 4 by 24. Or it's a 30 millimeter tube. Anyway, uh, but this is it. It comes in a little box. The art scope is mounted, as you can see, on my PSE Toxic crossbow. And my Picatinny rail is not as long as the scope's mount. My Picatinny rail only goes to here. So I only got like a 3 inch uh, pick rail. So it, it, I don't have one that goes all the way out. To support the scope this far out my buddy has a raven crossbow that i will um, borrow and uh, do some testing with it because it shoots a f arrow at 460 feet per second almost 100 feet faster than this thing so uh, we'll try that this is an older bow and uh, like i said it's very heavy it's a heavy bow very heavy bow um, not a lot of fun to carry around in the woods. This is a bow made for setting in a tree stand or a ground blind and way down to deer with, not for uh, carrying around in the woods. So uh, it does have a rifle sling and extended stock and, and everything. But uh, like I said, it's very, very heavy. So it's not, uh, not uh, a very comfortable bow. Anyway, uh, you get a instruction booklet like uh, like all scopes come with, and uh, for you knot heads out there, and you know who you are, read the damn instruction manual, and you won't have any problems. But uh, I'll tell you, Jim Leatherwood was a man before his time uh, designing the. Uh, first art scope when I was a sniper in the army I had the art one which was designed by Lieutenant Leatherwood at the time uh, very uh, very good scope 
uh, let you uh, estimate range and dial in a target very quickly uh, with just a turning turning of a cam so uh, we get to set the cam and the setting and calibrate it for the trajectory so uh, we're going to calibrate it for 25 yards and not 50 um, and that's what I'm going to zero it at uh, 25 yards um, because of the uh, this is not a very fast bow at uh, the feet per second it, it only does uh, 325 feet per second my buddy's bow does 460 feet per second so it's a whole lot faster than than this thing is but uh, 325 feet per second at 25 yards I can attest that it puts down hogs and deer so I've killed deer and hogs with this uh, this setup so we're looking forward uh, to uh, taking the uh, bow out and put it through its paces I'd like to thank uh, Coberth and Chris at Hilux for uh, let it giving me the privilege to uh, to uh, uh, show you how this bow works and how the scope works and and all of that and uh, it's got a lighted reticle I got a, a lighted dot in the middle of the crossbow it's lighted um, and uh, it's green it's a green dot so you could pick the green dot up easily in the daytime where the red dot is harder to pick up in the daytime so I could uh, range in on a deer size animal or a uh, small animal such as a coyote or a hog or whatever I've never shot a coyote with a bow but I have uh, have uh, uh, shot like I said hogs and and deer rabbits and uh, I think I shot a couple birds with it too I, I got a turkey with a bow so uh, there you go it's got a uh, ballistic chart too to help you uh, get your scope set up for the right trajectory in your cam setting so I'm going to zero for 25 yards some of these things are set up to shoot 80 yards some of these crossbows are capable of a hundred yard shot uh, with the power of a rifle so that's smoking fast that four that one that does 460 that Raven uh, my buddy has uh, will uh, definitely definitely uh, put it up there um, this was set, the sweet spot on this bow is set up uh, for the standard cam is for crossbows with the speeds between 350 feet per second and 450 so I'm probably going to have to borrow my buddies because this is only 325 okay oh they and they do have a short chart for 310 to 450 feet per second and total bolt weight uh, from 350 to 500 grain so I will probably shoot at 25 yards the uh, uh, 320 grain uh, arrow or uh, the 350 grain arrow and it gives a suggestion of the cam setting but once you get a cam set and you get your target set up and you get it get it zero and you start hitting where you put that little dot in the center of the crosshair if you put that little green dot on there squeeze that trigger just like you do a rifle and then you see that arrow hit center of that target hit right where you aimed at then you're ready to make some fine tune adjustments and you could bring it right on exactly and drive tacks with it literally 
So uh, there you go. The Leatherwood Hilux Trajectory Telescope. And this is just a little tabletop review with uh, my old Toxic crossbow. Well, it's been a beautiful day out here in South Carolina. Uh, sun's shining. It's pretty hot. It's been in the 90s, in the high 90s for the past, uh, past week or so. Got a little thunderstorm come up and uh, it just fizzled out. I was hoping we get a little bit of rain. But when we get some rain, the hogs will be back in the into the rooting stage and I have to go get some get some more set some more traps out for them but um, as uh, everybody knows I'm in the hog eradication business and uh, this crossbow put a bolt through a hog skull a uh, 200 pound hog was dropped with a shot to the top of the head he walked right under my tree stand and I watched him walk over to the corn pile about 15 yards away and I put he turned toward me and I put that scope right through his head right between the eyes and that uh, bolt uh, come out by his front leg and exited the uh, the animal uh, the bolt was okay and everything no problem with that but man that broadhead was all tore up uh, but it went through him like a hot knife through butter. Killed him deader than a stone. So there you go. This is Rick, Black Rifle in North Augusta, South Carolina. With the Hilux Precision Optics Crossbow Scope. The Auto Ranging Telescope by Hilux Leatherwood. So we're looking forward to it. The scope is pretty impressive, you know. It's got a real stat. You got the lighted reticle, it's shock proof. Uh, the fully coated uh, lenses on there. Nitrogen purged, diamond tough guarantee. It's uh, waterproof. And it's uh, perma coated. And uh, it's HD load disp. I can't say that word. This, this century. This percention glass. So it's, in other words, the glass is real clear. <laughs> That's what it means. Anyway, uh, we're looking forward to shooting it and uh, filming uh, the arrows uh, impacting on Rambo the deer target and uh, we'll uh, we'll show you those pretty soon I'll get that deer target set up there about 20 yards out here in the yard we'll get it zeroed in get the scope uh, bore sighted I've got a bore sight on my arrow to put a red dot on the wall and then adjust my crosshair on the scope to that uh, to that red dot And it's got tactile um, very distinct click on the windage and elevation knobs of this optic. It's just like the the art scope for the rifle. It's the same thing. This is 0 0.5 MOA. Uh, if you want it to go up, you turn to the left. If you want it to go down, you turn to the right. Same with uh, your uh, windage here. Turn to the right, you move the impact right. Move to the left, you move the impact left. Um, but we're going to get that out there on, on Rambo and, and get it out there. And then you got your setting. you got to set your drop settings here with these two so we're going to read in the manual and see where to set this uh, see where to set my cam it may be preset already I don't know 
And see that's loose. Somebody's monkeyed with that. But um, the um, adjust your parallax left and right here, and it's your two uh, two scope caps. I like the ones that are built onto the rifles. Uh, I have two uh, two scopes that have uh, the built on on uh, scope dust covers. Uh, protective covers and they're hard plastic they don't slide on and off like that they're right on the scope they're they're built into it and uh, those are uh, what the Hilux Thenum and the Hilux uh, CMR8 uh, they're built into those scopes so you don't have to worry about the making your adjustment and having the plastic come off in your hand you know they just pull pull off and you adjust your parallax here. So that's how that works. But uh, this is pretty neat scope. I really like it. And uh, Chris, we're gonna get you a picture of Rambo out there, all set up and uh, seeing the arrows fly down there and hit Rambo, and uh, see me shooting my uh, crossbow right off my deck here. Um, that's how I sighted it in last time. I had a little small dot, red dot aim point uh, that was on here. And it came with a funky scope. It had all these lines going across and each different line meant a different yardage line to hold off on. I really didn't like that thing too much. And when it got dark out, when it got low light, like late in the afternoon, um, you can hardly see it in the woods, the crosshair. You put it on something dark and uh, the crosshair disappear. But with this lighted crosshair, you put it on something dark, it's lit. You're going to see where to hit and um, you, you'll be dead on. Well, this is Rick from North Augusta, South Carolina, saying so long until we start the zero to scope and do some target practice. Bye-bye.